Learn how terrible technique was worth $75 million and a bug that proved scientists wrong and why I am overjoyed that my new CD release got complaints. Welcome to No Bow Tie, where we conquer emptiness and frustration, discover our uniqueness, and live with unrelenting joy. I'm John No Bow Tie, Swoboda author and musician. Today, we're going to talk about how, why breaking the rules is necessary and defining yourself. Be sure to subscribe. Vincent van Gogh not only had a signature style in painting, but he was known to have broken the rules completely. His technique was frowned on at the time, but yet created a whole new way of doing impressionistic painting. He would paint straight out of the tube, right the tube to the canvas. He would also, he would mix the paint in the painting and then use the mound of paint to create a, a 3D, a three-dimensional effect where his textures stuck out from the canvas because of how thick the paint was. And he would also, he would exaggerate the colors needed for a variety of reasons, but he would exaggerate them beyond reality so that when they contrasted, they had a certain effect on the eye. He was breaking rules left and right. Now, Van Gogh, never sold a painting during his time. But in 1990, because of this unique style, a painting of his sold for $75 million, which represents the public acceptance of his breaking of the rules. People were glad, other painters were glad that he was willing to step forward and say, let's quit combining tradition and showing tradition in different ways. And let's break that and form a new way to interpret art. Another rule breaker is found in nature, the bumblebee. For years, scientists documented that the bumblebee should not be able to fly. Its body is too big, its wings are too small, and its strength is not enough to flap the wings in succession to carry the body of the bumblebee. But in the words of Zig Ziglar, he once said, the bumblebee didn't read, the bumblebee flies. Now, whether you're a bumblebee or not, I don't know. But I can tell you, I have faced many challenges where I've had to break the rules to become myself, to, to really define who I am. I just released a 10th album under the name No Bowtie. And this album, of many of the challenges with releasing music nowadays are very obvious that there's so much competition, not just in quality, but the flood of quantity makes it so it's really hard to get your name to flow in, in the, chain, the chain of events that go on with streaming. You have to stick out. So what I did, I took classical music, you know, music of tradition, and I totally totally pulled it apart and put it back together in, in ways that have grooves. The latest album is one of Roots Rock. And so you can hear uh, Beethoven and Debussy and the famous composers and the style with electric guitar and grooves. Now, I'm not talking about just doing their music on other instruments. That's not breaking the rules. I'm talking about going in and totally defacing the, their intent with what people like you would want to hear in music today. So instead of having another classical album that got played and then sat on the shelf and used as background music, it turned out that we've, we have excited the ears of everybody from aficionados to children to, to even classical fans. Although I have gotten complaints about how much of the rules I'm breaking to the point that it's been coined as musical blasphemy, which I'm using greatly to my advantage. Had I stayed on the traditional route, yes, I would have made another album, but it would not have reached the ears of many who want to hear those rules broken. Often we're just waiting for somebody else to do it, to do that dirty work. Do that dirty work yourself. Break the rules to learn who you are. Break the rules of tradition and create a better way. Break the rules of what you have always been so that you can redefine and discover what you can be. 
Break the rules so you can make mistakes, so you can examine what you really do want in life. Before we end, I encourage you to share with me the rules that you wish you could break. And let's see if together, if together we can dream up ways to break through what, you, what you're seeing as blockades of tradition, keeping you from becoming what you want to become. I look forward to getting those messages. Let's work together and get creative. Let's use our imaginations and break the rules of the past so that we can create a new future. The excitement, the excitement of what you can become is only had in breaking those traditions of your past. Send me a note and let's get started. Now, before I go, I'm going to leave you a little snippet, a solo snippet from the new album showing you how I have totally just taken it uh, to a different level. And this piece is called Serenata Española by Joaquin Malatz. And uh, I hope you like it. That, um, and, and if you don't, send me a note as to why. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Break the rules as long as nobody gets hurt. Get creative and cr make your own rules. And subscribe and share this. Because if this doesn't apply to you, you do know somebody who could use this message. You know who they are. Enjoy. Okay, the classical version is this. <laughs> some rules.